Hey everybody, welcome back to another Dick Commentary video. Today we are looking at Harmon Smith. He has, let's just say on my other channel when it was a commentary channel, he was a main target. I didn't really target him out of spite. I just targeted him out of content and because he gave me a lot of good content for uh, the people who watch the, my videos on my old channel. But... Um, in this video today, he is trying to brag that Nintendo Switch Online outperforms Game Pass, which in re when it comes to Nintendo Switch Online compared to Game Pass, Nintendo Switch Online is needed to play with your friends online, to play uh, old gen games on the NES and um, what was it, the NES and the Super NES. You needed Nintendo Switch Online to play those old games. Now with Xbox Game Pass, it is a choice to buy. You don't need to buy it because I know, understand a lot of people don't play a lot of the games on Game Pass, so it would be a waste of money. But a lot of other people buy Game Pass and play a lot of the games that are on it. And not to mention for what what was it it was um it's like fourteen dollars a month fifteen dollars a month um and for game pass ultimate and you get game pass xbox live gold and an ea membership which in my opinion is a pretty good deal overall Xbox is, or not nintendo uh microsoft is losing money with that deal you're getting game pass which has over 300 good games on it a lot of them are triple a games as well you get um xbox live gold so you can play with your friends and you're getting a membership just with the xbox live gold and game pass they're losing money out of it because xbox live gold it's what 12 bucks a month game pass is five bucks that's fifth that's 17 dollars right there they're losing a two dollar profit it's not a bad deal it's a amazing deal that you're getting from microsoft even and those are that's just for the people who don't understand what game pass actually gives you now i'm going to show you a part of Harmon smith's video where he tries to say that nintendo is doing so much better with their online subscription compared to game pass uh because they have seven million more subscribers or yeah subscribers on their online subscription than what people are when then what microsoft has for game pass youtuber all up here all among audiences but nintendo switch online has 32 million subscribers seven million more than xbox game pass at 25 million now like i said the only reason why Nintendo Online has more subscriptions than Game Pass is because Nintendo Online is required to play with your friends. It's required to play the NES and Super NES games. It's required to get all these other features. With Game Pass, all you gotta do is pay 12 bucks a month and you get Minecraft, you get Doom Eternal, you get all the Halo games, you get Forza 4 and Forza 5. You get a lot of these AAA games and not to mention a lot of these other indie games that Microsoft themselves tells you to go play. They even made a tweet out on it, sent, uh, calling out a lot of these people who pur purchase AAA games or purchase Game Pass just for the AAA games. They tell them that if you're burnt out, go play AAA games. I mean, not AAA. Games. Go play these indie games. If you're burnt out from AAA games, go play all these indie games. Because a lot of these indie games, they're not that bad. They're actually pretty good, especially the ones on Game Pass. Like, I don't know. I haven't looked at Game Pass in a minute. But I, I know there's a lot of these indie games on Game Pass that are pretty good. And they also seem pretty good for the ones that I haven't seen videos on. But when you're trying to compare something that you need to play online compared to something that is a choice to play all these games... It's incomparable because Game Pass, it's all about, oh, you can buy this subscription for $60 a year and you get Call of Duty, you get all these AAA games and these indie games. When with Nintendo Online, you're paying 
fifty dollars a year, sixty dollars a year for you just to be able to play multiplayer games with your friends online to get backwards compatibility with NES and Super NES games and to get all these other features. Which and you shouldn't have to pay fifty dollars a year to get this shit. Same thing with Xbox and PlayStation. You shouldn't have to play, pay $60 to get online subscriptions when it's completely free on PC. And if we're going to compare the online server subscriptions, we need to compare online server subscriptions. So back in December of 2020, that's the closest date that it shows up when I looked up how many people have Xbox Live Gold. Microsoft's online g gaming service had approximately 100 million active users, up from just under 40 million at the beginning of 2016. So in reality, if you think about it, Microsoft is still doing better with their online subscription compared to Nintendo. Which, I understand, that w would actually make complete sense. You'd be thinking Microsoft would do so much better. Since Microsoft's system is a lot more popular, it's a lot more powerful. So people are going to tend to buy the more powerful, the more popular system. Rather than the Nintendo, which is underpowered in today's day and age. It's uh, got the same amount of power as the PS3, I'm pretty sure. Which is understandable it's still pretty fa powerful for how big it is and i'm quite happy about how powerful it is but when you're gonna compare something compare nintendo online to xbox live gold something that is required to play online as well don't compare it to game pass which is a choice to buy because game pass is completely better when it comes to buying games because you can get 300 plus games for $60 a year and you're going to get a new console in the next seven years when the new one comes out so it just makes complete sense go buy game pass if you don't already have all the games that you want and you if you're going to buy game pass for one game it's not going to be worth it it's there's no point myself cancel my xbox game pass subscription because i had a lot of problems with it like i didn't like their library i didn't like the way the service worked i, I didn't like um the price point like there were so many things on xbox game pass that were just plain wrong to me they were just they were just plain disgusting that i all right so let's really quick compare the amount what you get on game pass for paying five dollars a month for just base game pass for just base game pass you pay five bucks a month so we're gonna really quick take a look at that all right so i have the xbox game pass pulled up right here and um we're gonna really quick if it shows me how much it costs which i don't think it is which kind of oh wait if i click here it should tell me going now uh, ultimate PC and console. Okay, so it's ten bucks a month on console. You're paying ten bucks a month for three hundred plus games. I know it says a hundred, but it's three hundred games. New games that are added all the time. Xbox Game Studio titles on the same day of release, and membership discount and deals. And if you pay an extra five bucks a month or four four bucks a month, whatever the hell, I don't care. <laughs> about how much it is you get over 100 games you get new games added all the time you get game studio titles you get exclusive member discounts you get to play games from the cloud which is better than just downloading them you get free perks including game content and partner offers and it also includes gold which is 10 bucks a month Xbox Live Gold includes deals with gold, games with gold, and console multiplayer. And you get EA Play. So, in fact, I was completely wrong about how big of a difference paying for both the console version and the for and uh, Xbox Live Gold was. It's actually an $8 difference. They're losing $8 for paying for $15 or $5. It's still a great deal. Instead of a $2 difference, 
it's a five dollar difference that's how much money they're losing out with ultimate and they could have made it 20 bucks a month for both game uh gold and uh the console edition for game pass and if you also just just look at the games of game pass you're gonna get uh let's see as soon as it loads you're gonna get uh let's see you're getting farming simulator which is an all right game you're gonna get uh and nhl which is an okay game you're gonna get seven days to die which is an amazing game it's a really good game seven days to die you're getting a way out you're getting among us which is eh. you're getting anthem you're getting arc survival survival ultimate edition you're getting army of two astro near you're getting let's see back for blood you're getting Batman Arkham Knight. You're getting all the Battlefield games, or most of them at least. You're getting Black Desert. You're getting Siege. You're getting... Do, do, do. Motherfucking, it's so slow. <laughs> You're getting, let's see here. City Skylines, Cluster Truck, Conan Exiles. You, um... But you guys get the point. You're getting all these good games for just ten bucks a month or uh, fifteen bucks a month for ultimate. But if you you can just pay ten bucks a month for the regular Game Pass, and it's still an amazing deal. You're paying ten bucks or ten bucks a month for something that's an amazing deal. I mean, I would pay ten bucks a month for three hundred games because that's one hundred twenty dollars a year for uh 300 games and it's gonna be completely cheaper than just buying all those games on on game pass than to buy them separately from game pass first off i want to say i'm sorry for the bad audio quality i'm super tired it's been a really long day and yesterday i had work so it's just been a long weekend and today was even longer and hot so, I'm just tired at the moment, and I probably should just go take a nap, but I need to get this video up and out. I want you guys to have some content. But anyways, as you can tell, Xbox Game Pass is so much better in terms of stuff like PS Now, or if Nintendo has uh, something like Game Pass, it's still going to be completely better, and... I'm I'm pretty sure there is a Nintendo uh, subscription like Game Pass, but I'm not exactly too sure. But also, another reason why people said that Nintendo Switch Online wasn't going to be as good as what it, it, it honestly is right now is because if you look at it, it's not a good deal. Just like how Xbox Live Gold or how PS Plus isn't a good deal. You're paying $60 a year just to play online on xbox and playstation and it's stupid at least with xbox there's backwards compatibility that's completely free it's not an extra add-on that you have to pay for when you buy the console and you also get to play older games even if you don't have the disc with xbox game pass that's what makes game pass so good is that if you don't own it the older old disc games you still can play older xbox 360 games on the game pass and I'm, i don't know if you can play original xbox games but i know you can play xbox 360 games and now that the new generation has come out you can play the old xbox one games on game pass and same thing if you have the disc you can still play those games with the disc without having to pay extra to play those games and that's what makes xbox honestly one of the be the best console is because they're losing money for people's enjoyment it may seem like they're gaining money out of it but they still pay a lot of money for having these games and that's why it's such a high risk with 
the Xbox Game Pass subscription is if they don't make enough money, they're gonna off of it. They're gonna lose a lot of money. So they could have made it twenty bucks just so they could make enough money off of it. But they're not gonna. They didn't make it twenty bucks, and that's a smart thing to do because they would get a lot of hate for having something so expensive on their console for their subscriptions. Even then. 20 bucks a month is still going to be an amazing deal regardless. It's honestly a great deal, 20 bucks a month for 300 games. Now, and back to Nintendo, the reason why I got so much hate was because you were getting old NES and Super NES games. You weren't getting Wii games. You weren't getting all these favorable games that were on the, the Wii especially the Wii. The Wii, I have so many good memories on. Like, Wii Sports Resort, which I know they made a new uh, Wii Sports Resort or Wii Sports for the Nintendo... Uh, crap. <laughs> the Nintendo Switch. Uh, recently, at least, they did. But it wasn't a thing back when the Nintendo Switch came out. You know, you're all... You're getting the same stuff as what you're getting with any other subscription on console minus the fact that you're get, you're getting the NES and Super NES which is a backwards com which are backwards compatible games but that was free on Xbox in the first place and PlayStation you had to pay for it like like and they weren't even the the good ones they weren't even good ones that was like it was like PS only indie games or the occasional uh, both platform games. I, I I can't name them off the top of my head, but you still had to pay for the backwards compatibility games on PlayStation. It wasn't a default thing. And even with the PS5, it's still only back to the PS4. It's not anything special. Like it is for the Xbox uh, backwards compat compatibility. But, um... I think this is going to be the end of this video. It's already long. It's already almost 17 minutes long. I've been going on a giant rant. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a new mic, actually. It is the Razer something. I have the box right next to me. Somewhere around here. Yeah. It is the Razer uh, Siren X uh, V2X. And I personally think it sounds good. But... Say what you want in the comments about it. I like it. Um, if you guys like it, that's good. Uh, I want you guys to like it. I want to make better quality content. But um, anyways, this is going to be the end of the video, guys. I don't want to uh, drag out this video even longer than what it should have been. I didn't even want to make it over 10 minutes. But I've gone almost 8 minutes over. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you do like this video, obviously hit the like button, subscribe if you do enjoy my content. I'll see you guys in the next one. one.